Hey guys, this is Jason, JC316. Today I'm going to be showing y'all how to change the uh, CV axles on a Jeep Cherokee or Grand Cherokee. The first thing you got to do is get the uh, front end up and supported. Jack. Second thing you got to do is get the uh, front wheel off. You can do this with a tire iron, but impact makes it so much faster. Okay, once that's out of the way, you can see what we're looking at. Uh, we got cotter pin, castle nut that has to be taken off. And then we'll wind up having to take the uh, steering knuckle off, so we'll have to disconnect the uh, upper and lower ball joints and the uh, tie rod end. So I'm going to go grab some tools I'll be right back. Alright, we're back. So we need to take the uh, cotter pin out. You need to straighten these two ends. And then pry the little sucker out of there. <clears throat> take the castle nut and the washer off. Okay, next thing we're going to have to do is change the brake caliper, take the brake caliper off. It's got um, two 13 millimeter bolts, top and bottom, and uh, have a piece of wire handy to wire it up somewhere. So I'm going to get that out of the way and hung up. I'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So once you get the brake caliper out and wired up out of the way, slip the um, brake rotor off. It just pulls right off. It's real easy. So now we need to um, take the center CV shaft nut out. Now this little sucker can be on there sometimes, so I've got my three-quarter inch impact out. So I'm going to have to use both hands. I'm going to have to brace this and then take the nut off. I probably should have done this a long time ago whenever I still had brakes, but I'm working alone so it wouldn't really help me that much. So I'll be right back as soon as I get that off. Alrighty, and we're back. So once that's off, we're going to take the uh, front wheel hub assembly off. There are three bolts. There's one right, it's really hard to see, but it's right there. And one right here, and then one right here. And I think the 13s, uh, they may be, um, they may be 12 points. Yeah, they're 12 points. Let me go get the socket. So yeah, they're 12.13 millimeter sockets and just get an extension on there and then break them loose. I'm going to need both hands for this so I don't round them off. So as soon as I get these off, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just spent the better part of an hour or an hour and a half trying to get all this stuff loose. My bolts were rusted badly. So I used a combination of uh, penetrating oil, heat, and breaker bars to finally get them loose. So once that, once the three bolts are out, you're going to have to take the wheel hub out. And this is the wheel hub assembly. This, I think you're supposed to use a puller on it. I didn't bother. I used a uh, chisel to chisel in around the edges here. 
and pry it out. I wound up destroying mine, so it might be better off getting the puller. Um, but yeah, once that's out of the way, mine was, you can see how badly mine was rusted anyway. And that's why it was such a pain to take it out. Uh, so yeah, once that's done, I mean, you can see how <laughs> this is supposed to be attached to that. Mine's completely destroyed. So yeah, you should be able to just grab that and pull it out of there. At least I'm hoping that's what I can do. Now, I really wasn't thinking this through whenever I parked it right here because I'm not sure I might have enough room to get it out. That's yeah, a small side. Yeah, I'm guessing you just I'm guessing it just pulls out of there. Yeah. just grab and pull and there it is the hardest part of this by far just came from really non-maintenance and being rusted if yours is use heat use penetrating oil don't get frustrated take a break if you have to so that's how you do it thanks for watching hope you enjoy